what is up Kingsman welcome back to another Napoleon on Total War 3 battle today we are on the historical battle of Arsted uh, which we have seen plenty of times before some of them the Prussians have won some of them the French have won what is going to happen today that's what I wonder um, this one was sent in by Matt Bob it is like I said a 4v4 uh, set was pretty good uh, slugfest so I'm excited to see the end result and to see how these players um, maneuver. Now we already have some LOCs being taken. Way on the other side of town. Okay. Interesting. That's some Voltaires. Holy cow. And there's the Prussian army just right there in front of them. Okay. So, uh, probably gonna lose the Voltaires, the Skirms. Maybe they'll run away. <laughs> um, but artillery is already firing. Wow. Interestingly, they're firing all behind but okay what I was trying to say is Prussia this core because this is the 12 point actually I think they're all Davus I think you have to bring all Davus in order to make this uh, a realistic scenario um, but the French don't have Cav um, and I, I mean they do have Cav but it's only like a Chasseur Cheval and that's it they have light cav, they have very few artillery. The Prussians get heavies, I do believe. They get some grenadiers and some good line infantry. And um, uh, they get heavies, and they, they get a lot more. They get a lot of good artillery as well. As you saw that one artillery battery firing, and they have beautiful positioning. Um, here we go, more artillery already. They obviously are targeting, you know, the French position. You can see them firing, yeah, already. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what the uh, French end up doing. Now they do have skirmishers pushing up in front of the line here in the front. Uh, Cav to defend the general slash artillery maybe. But yeah, skirmishers already opening up a fire. This is a lot of artillery, so of course they do want to protect it. Um, a beautiful screen with the, the light infantry. They have line infantry in this case they try charging in. Um, they are gonna push up now last time we had a battle on here the Prussians had hit and run lightning tactics and kept striking um, The artillery for France and they kept losing their artillery, which is very sad. Here's that cab. I'm talking about guys heavies There are heavies. These are like C1 C2s. I think But you can see more cab in the town here uh, Probably trying to figure out how to you know get around um, Oh what? Oh, I thought it was a dead body. It's like, who died right there? No, but Prussia is probably going to push for this village. Um, you saw already, Prussia has this village. They have troops lined up, ready to receive the enemy. Uh, fusiliers, line infantry, musketeers, they have all of it. Now, I believe they also have some grenadiers um, in the back here. Yep, here we go, grenadiers. And then some more line of tree behind that. The Grenadiers, you can tell just because of the helmets. Uh, they have these helmets versus, like, the hats. Tricorn hats, I guess you would call it. But, um, yeah, there's... Oh, look at this. We have some Prussian cab scouting almost behind the French lines. They're going to shift over their Chasseur Cheval. Um, they may have to use it all in order to actually get, you know, this Prussian cab off the field. Because right now, they're still trying to push their troops up. Um, they do only, like I said, it's it's lights versus the Prussian cab. Prussia has, these are Dragoons. I'm surprised they aren't trying to engage the Chasseur Cheval. Um, they're going to get themselves surrounded. They have some Hussars accompanying the Dragoons. Um, I hope they, yeah, they're going to... I'm concerned that they are going to get surrounded. They are sitting out in this open field, and France is starting to, you can see, clustering around here. They have both the cab pushing up from here and more over here. What? Oh. Wow, that's a lot of men who have been killed by the skirmishers. Now, they did finally break, but man, they inflicted some losses. And now the French know exactly where the Prussians are, in a way, I guess. So these guys are trying to scout for the guns. Trying to let them see where the infantry is coming from, because you can see the artillery is coming all the way back here. That's some huge, serious firepower. This building has now, we do have enemy. some cavalry. It looks like some Prussian cav potentially trying to go for uh, 
skirmishers, artillery, something. Not gonna work. France isn't engaging yet. They are just waiting um, for the probably reinforcements. Prussia has a pretty strong frontier, and already the artillery on both sides is firing. Yeah, there's their. Uh... Ooh, my goodness. They are setting these guys flying all over the place. I have a feeling this is going to be a artillery fight of attrition. This artillery is already blasting away at some cab in the back lines here, some dragoons for Prussia. Prussia's probably not going to want to uh, keep that cab around for very long. Their artillery is replying. Um, yeah, so this battle has officially begun. I mean, look at this. These Prussians just getting blasted. Poor Prussians. And they're just taking it because they want to be on the defensive. You know? Uh, but it looks like France is going to start engaging here. They're pushing up. Artillery. Ooh. Still trying to hammer away at this center line. Prussia. Forming up. I, I'm concerned that Prussia is all alone here and the other Prussian army is somewhere else. But we do have some cavalry pushing up. Oh, they're going to go for some skirms. They're going to die to infantry fire. Watch. Uh, they're going to lose the skirms, though. But at what cost, you know? Uh, see, they're trying to go for twofold. They're trying to go for the artillery and the skirms, but that's okay. They, this, those Prussians may come back. The artillery is real, though. France actually has quite the dominant artillery in this battle. And it looks like they're taking a slower approach until their ally gets up. Uh, but they have artillery just softening up the positions of Prussia. Prussia isn't even engaging yet in a line fight. And that cab did come back, so, you know, I guess it's a victory, sort of, for the Russians. I do hear more infantry marching. Yep, more infantry is marching down this road, so they're able to reinforce this pr front Prussian line, and they're gonna have to. Uh, skirmishers, the only thing that seems to be really firing here, the rest of the French army still marching up. We have two more armies in reserve now, and they're gonna have to probably start shuttling in differing directions. Um, trying to maybe put a flank. The thing is, I think Prussia is on the far side. There's a Prussian army way over here. Um, and most likely this French army is going to have to watch that flank. Because Prussia could try caving in their left flank. And that could be a concern. That could be a concern of theirs. Um, going forward. But I think this is very obviously where the attack is going to happen. They have artillery to support them. Um, they have plenty of reserves. And of course, this whole area over here usually is suicide, unless you go far right flank, just because of this marsh. This marsh makes your men move super slow. Prussia can set up behind this wall. This hill is a no-brainer for the artillery. We just some cav now going back for some more skirms. Oh my gosh, the artillery managed to hit that, art that cav unit. Ooh, but they did get a charge, but it doesn't work because they actually broke, but maybe they're they're causing the skirms to waver. And they broke them. Wow. Two times now Prussia has managed to destroy the skirms. Um, the artillery actually is limbering up. This four-pounder is getting a very close. Um, yeah, these eight-pounders are in a pretty good position, to be honest. And it looks like actually France maybe getting a massive... Uh, grand battery here and they're just going to line up all these guns here and fire down and try to get that massive artillery dominance. Are infantry marching over here or is that just the general? I do hear men marching over here. Yeah, look at this. Grand battery, guys. Look at 
this battery. That is so many guns. That's some 12 pounders, eight pounders, and there's some more uh, eight pounders over here. My goodness, the French are really amassing up quite the armada of artillery. That's correct description of it, right? Now look at this. They are just pounding the Prussian position, and they are actually forcing them back, having only used skirmishers. And now they're pushing forward infantry, having forced the Prussians back. And Prussia is now at a huge advantage. They, anywhere they fight, the artillery is just going to shift up, and there's nothing they can do. Like almost all of this death and destruction is from artillery. When you look at it, and I gotta zoom out a little bit before you see it. No, for you to look at that, that is actually significant losses. Having not even engaged in a line fight. Now the skirmishers will push up and start peppering down the lines. Um, I, if I were the Prussian artillery right here, I would be going for enemy artillery. And only enemy artillery. Hold that thought though, we do have line infantry firing. Um, skirmishers up in front, say, soaking up the damage. More artillery has come up. Still a rough one, guys. Man, France is just going to have massive artillery advantage in this battle. You can counter battery. Oh, wow, that skirms are dead now. You can counter battery. It's just a little more rough to do so. And artillery is going to shift up. With all this artillery focus on one French artillery unit. They probably could eventually break it, and they may need that in order to actually win this fight because they are going to lose severely by, uh, you know, getting hammered by the French oh. artillery. These oh. oh, musketeers oh. holding beautifully. Damn, look at all the smoke. You can barely see what's happening here, and the artillery is bouncing in. It's very awesome. This is going to be, of course, tough for the French. There is probably Grenadiers in this house. You can see them firing right here. Uh, which France is going to have to choose where to fight here. Now, there's some Prussians marching across the river. Running across the river. So they're just forming up here. More skirms pushing up. Man, we saw a battle before with skirmishers in a massive line in front. Just doing well against line infantry. Uh, we may see that again. Here's the other batteries. Prussia has them way over on the side here. Um, and France seems to have their infantry massed up on this right flank, but they are pushing across here. Prussia is on the retreat almost everywhere, and their cav is not being able to do anything. If they show their cav at all, it's going to get focused by all the artillery that France has. Man, Look at that, it's just brutal. Prussia just has to make some decisions. They are gonna start losing heavily if they don't. And they're running troops for it too. It's just layer upon layer of skirmishers with line infantry behind them. This is very rough. It's gonna be rough. Now these skirms may take some losses here. They're pretty close, they're trying to get back. Artillery can probably help out with that line fight. And they are shelling this house at 69%. Uh, oh, hold that thought. We have some cavalry charging in against some squares. Uh, I guess some skirmishers here. Prussian finally able to utilize some of that cav. Now they do have some squareables. But yeah, Prussia just broke. Oh no! For all the cav Prussia has, they are not able to defend their guns. So while their cav was busy, France is getting very busy. You can barely see actually what's happening here just because of all the thick smoke. Zoom in and it becomes very clear. The road has been falling back from the Prussians are no longer there. Um, over on this side, Prussia is just getting absolutely demolished by the masses of skirmishers. The line of infantry is just sitting back and waiting and letting them. This is the battle of the skirmishers, guys. Ooh, that artillery, though, is really hurting the French. 
Yeah, these, these skirms are gonna do most of the work, I feel like, with the artillery. And, and a battle fought mostly by skirmishers and artillery. Did they just totally demolish this building? Is the building destroyed? No, it's not destroyed. It's almost destroyed, I feel like. Uh, France is falling back here. There is a lot of artillery still set up. Prussia has quite a bit of artillery. Uh, excellent positioning on their part to be able to force back the French at left flank. You have to put up artillery, either in defense or offense. Uh, France are utilizing an offense very well. Yeah, the Prussia's, Prussia's gonna have uh, quite a rough time. Of course, they are getting some vicious fire on these skirmishers, but at this range, I highly doubt they're gonna be able to just whittle these guys down there. In light infantry formation, artillery does seem to be focusing them down a decent amount. Man, this is quite cool looking, too. Look, <laughs> these guys look quite, quite nice. And forward artillery pushing up now. Yeah, they're, they're shifting their artillery, constantly moving. In fact, everything is advancing. We do have them attacking in the town. We have some of the Grenadiers on both sides here. France is just, ooh, that's a lot of troops, son. Yikes. That was a lot of troops attacking one Grenadier unit. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's tough. See, this is where the cab would have been really, really good for, for, for uh, Prussia. I mean, the town would have been a terrible place for it to happen. But, um, unfortunately, it just, it would have been a good time with Grenadiers engaging the French line infantry. But looks like actually this fight's gonna shift back further than I've actually seen most Austin's fights happening. Most of them happen right here and it focuses right here and it stays right there. This is kind of cool. You see in a different portion of the map as it were, we do have the cabs still waiting. I mean, this whole, this, this some of them do have squares, I guess, so it's still tough for the Prussians to figure out when to engage. But this looks like a little bit of a bog. This actually may be a good place to trap the French if they're, you know, in this area. Imagine if they had artillery just right up here firing down. If she lined up here and here to stop them, force them to stay in this whole marshy area. We also have Prussians on the flank here. Wow. In fact, quite a lot of Prussians on the flank here. We have some cavalry pushing up. Not sure what they're planning on going for, but you see the Chester Cheval are shifting up as well. If I were Prussia, I'd fall back to Cav. Don't commit them. It's not gonna win. Yes, Here we go. Yep. Cav v Cav. One of the few Cav flashes. Both sides probably gonna mutually break. But you can see, I think Prussia is shooting over here, so France can actually have to relocate themselves uh, to then defend this left flank. Prussia is, uh... Oh, no. Prussia lost their general. That is hugely unfortunate and a huge blow to the morale of France, or not France, of Prussia. Um, man, that's, that's awful. Now it's going to probably be even a harder time for them. They are engaging the French on multiple flanks. They, if only had more troops sitting up here, it would be uh, probably an ideal engagement for them. We do have some cavalry shifting over here. I mean, there's just a lot of Russians sitting back. I'm really surprised they aren't trying to be more aggressive with their cav. I mean, you bring all this cav, you have to be able to use it. I would be focusing the cav in this corner where France has pushed themselves out. Yes, there are squares, but if you push up infantry, even right along here and fire, send some cav in, you know, it 
that could at least start to break, at least to start to push them back a little bit. France does look very strong here, so it may not work, but it's better than letting it just sit there soaking up artillery bolt, you know, bolt, cannonballs. Norse artillery actually may have to uh, fall back here. France is advancing up the hill to take some high ground. Uh, these guys can form squares. And are they? Yes, they do. Oh, throwing back the Hussars. We're trying to save the artillery. Wow, how did they break? Did they run them over? I think they ran their own artillery crew over. That's a huge unfortunate loss there. Uh, Prussia has quite a lot of reserves here. Look at this. The reinforcements showing up. This actually is going to be a problem here. France will start to get outshot here. Um, this could be a trap for them. Of course, they do have their reserves shifting down. Plenty more line infantry to reinforce this fort position. And the role of musket, musket fire is constant now. This French army shifting over. I think they know what they have to do. I think Prussia may be trying to go for some LOC sniping, maybe. Either way, they're going to have to engage a Prussian army way over on this side. But here we go. You can see the artillery is basically about to get suicided. Now, this close range, they will definitely kill him. France is uh, starting to get torn down here. As uh, this bog is becoming the tomb of many a Frenchman. And they're having to reform their lines. The artillery actually doesn't really help. I think the one flank that Prussia needs to watch out for and the flank that France needs to be pushing is right here. They have obtained the high ground. They have taken the high ground. Prussia needs to counterattack this. Send in some calves, send in the infantry, maybe try to force them back. <clears throat> because this is going to be a, uh, a problem. If Russia, hold that thought. Russia is engaging with all their calf in the back lines here. The artillery guys, here it is. Here's the artillery and they now are shifting over as much infantry as possible. Russia has shown their hand. They are coming through the flank, going for artillery, going for skirms, actually forcing back this flank. France is throwing everything back. They obviously don't want to lose their general. Actually, the artillery may have softened up this cab enough, and they may actually have saved, you know, saved the day with their artillery, but eh, still a little bit rough. And they are actually forcing the French back. Uh, down this hill, so they are not going to get that flank that they really wanted. And here we go, artillery. Are they going to blow the fire again? They are. Oh! Wow! They actually were able to fire. I am actually quite surprised. They were able to fire at least once more. Um, broke maybe some more Prussian heavy cap. Yeah, they did. So basically, at what cost the Prussians lost every bit of their cab? And uh, France saved their artillery. That's crazy. That is crazy. More artillery is standing up here now. They are going to be trying to focus down this Prussian line. Oh, breaking some buildings behind them. Wow. Honestly, the Prussians don't need to stand right here. They could uh, fall back down the building. They want to probably engage more on this side. But here goes the counterattack. As uh, Prussia is, uh, <clears throat> oh, Prussia up here in the woods. This is a lot of Prussians. All men are running. Oh, this Prussian army looks to be maybe, uh, I don't know. They're gonna get bayonet charged, I think, and they're gonna lose this for con this contingent of Prussians. Oh my goodness, I totally forgot about one of these sides. My gosh, I am so sorry, guys. Looks like heavy cap is being utilized here and actually breaking a decent amount of French infantry here. How did I forget about this side? 
Oh, well, I am sorry, guys. Uh, looks like uh, the French made some decisive bayonet charges. Man. Russia still has quite a bit of their forces here. They have cavalry to help support it. And actually, they are breaking a decent amount of the French infantry. Now, they did have a mass route over there, but, you know, this battle is actually quite significant, quite important. If they, if the Prussians can win this side, they start caving down the French lines. And France and Prussia are both still holding quite well. No one seems to have really gotten the up and up at this point in time. In fact, France is going to start falling back here. They need to help save this side. And actually, despite Prussia having taken some losses, they seem to be doing okay in this fight. Yeah, look at this. They're breaking. Their lineup sheet are breaking against the heavy cavalry of Prussia. And Prussia's now getting very aggressive, pushing forward. Line of tree forcing the French to fall back. France actually may have to peel some forces over to uh, defend this side. Prussia, yep, has a broken. They are falling back as they are getting surrounded here. I don't think Prussia should have pushed out here. They should have stayed defensive. That's my opinion. But France's flank is looking much better on this side. They have plenty of forces. They can start flanking the Prussian position. Um, using this hill, Prussia unfortunately doesn't have the forces to line up here and hold it. They just don't have the men. As France is falling back from this uh, this bog, they were losing. Prussia seems to have lost their cavalry now, but the damage seems to have been done already. As France doesn't have very much of anything left. And Prussia seems to be doing okay at this point in time. France thankfully has the luxury of being able to hold back and use their artillery to, as, to form a second line. Start firing at the Prussians. Is this Grenadiers in the back? They should be trying to use these Grens. Man, there's more reinforcements shifting over to the side. Prussia has quite a lot of men. Uh, but to be honest, they need the men over here. You see Prussia is getting bayonet charged here. This is going to go badly for them. Uh, they are basically taking a full loss. They do have line infantry here. They have artillery. If they can get back to their artillery position, they will be okay. Um, infantry, yeah, they're just trying to run them down. But Prussia seems to get themselves back, hold a line, and... Uh, Stop the French from being able to counterattack this side. Looks like I actually do have forces to stop this attack. Do we have an artillery crew? Yep, we have artillery crew that came back. He's gonna sit on these guns. Maybe get a fire off, a volley of, uh, you know, cannon. Cannon fire. We do have French pushing up for this Ellos for the artillery pieces. Uh oh. Hopefully, Prush is noticing that. This artillery over here is actually evening the odds here. Uh, France seems to be taking this quarter of the battle back with that artillery plus some skirms and reinforcements shifting over. Let's see if they fire a volley. Oh, they're gonna fire, I think. Yep. Oh my gosh, they fired canister and broke one France, one of the French one of the French line infantries. That is unfortunate. Uh, okay, over here, a huge melee here as France goes in for this Prussian line that was trying to bravely hold. What a volley before the French smacked into them. That may actually help keep these odds even, but probably not here. Prussia's gonna start mass routing. This is in melee. Prussia does not do well in melee, which means this whole flank is gonna cave. And that means France will start caving around on the flank of Prussia. We have some artillery. Back to buy some cab. Can they get a fire, a volley off? Oh, they formed a square. I mean, those cab actually, Prussia's cab is just getting demolished at every turn. 
Um, it does seem that France has a advantage when it comes to infantry, but I think the cap crush is the better of the two. But, I mean, in this instance, guys, I don't know if the, if the, uh, the cab is actually managing to make a dent as Prussia losing more of their lines in France has some squares, which kind of feels like it's obsolete, the good cab of Prussia. This is a tough one, to be sure. And now Prussia is going to start getting hit in the flank. We have some Grenadiers charging in. Cavalry from Prussia trying to save the line. Throw himself in to stop this line infantry. The 17th. Over here, Prussia is just mass routing. France is running him down, making sure they don't come back. And then pushing up here. Uh, the Prussian forward line is still holding. But man, they're getting hit hard by artillery as they're pushing up. The artillery is just brutal, guys. It is just slaughtering these Prussians who are trying to advance through the tree line or through this swampy area. Okay, here's more cab. They should have this cab over here on the flank to try to soften up the French. But France is going in for melee. Grenadiers counter-charging to stop the French. Like I said, this cab would be really well used and not right here, but looks like actually Prussia is using cab and line infantry, trying to smack down the French in this forward position. Oh my goodness. It's an all-out melee. Russia is going for basically a victory or death at this point. But at the same time, France is crumbling their allies' line. They know it's over. The men of fatigue, sir, must rest away. There's the flanking charge by the heavy cab. Thankfully, France had a square to form. Oh, look at this one cab unit trying to fight this flag bearer. Just sitting in the middle of the French line. Well, I think his battle is almost over. Holy cow. This is just turned into a mess. Routing troops, fighting troops. Russia's charging through the town. Huge cab charge by Russia. And uh, that's gonna probably be their final, you know, salute. There's a couple line infantry left here. The Prussian guns, yeah, they did kill them. The French did kill those Prussian guns. Uh, there's a couple Prussians here fighting, but yeah, this this is basically over. I think I don't really know what uh, the Prussians could have done differently. Honestly, those art that artillery forced them back. Um, maybe I don't know. I'm terrible with cabs, so I can't really give a good suggestion on how to use cab effectively, especially against a bunch of enemy artillery garages, but they'd have any skirmishers or that say, you know, Prussia can set up their skirmishers, maybe. It would have worked. To try to pepper them down, maybe counter battery. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think is the best way to deal with a play style like what the French had, which was tons of artillery. Supported by skirmishers and, uh, yeah. Man, because that, that was a tough one, especially in the beginning. Prussia had nowhere to go. The men of fatigue, sir, and must rest a while. I mean, they just... They, they were just dying left and right. And the artillery stayed alive, which is why it is so important to protect your artillery. Like I said, I've had other Arstead battles where the French lost their artillery to repeated cab charges, because Prussia does have a lot of cab charges. Enemy general has been killed. 
Um, there's only one or two units left. I'm just going to fast forward here. Uh, but, you know, still a cool looking game. I think it looked, it was very cool. I liked the center fight, at least the beginning. I like how Prussia kind of made a stand there for a little while. Our men um, are running, sir. Russia made a stand here. You can see, man, the slaughter. Man, this is a, this is a bloody bog. You know, that's going to be a lot of, there's actually a lot of French here. I mean, they, they pushed up here and got surrounded and it ended up actually affecting, I think, I think water and, oh, I see, I can't see the results still. I wonder why. I need to see if I can fix that. But anyway, see the artillery got hunter. Yeah, artillery got a ridiculous amount of kills. They got the most kills out of anything else in the whole army. 136 each. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh... But uh, yeah, guys, I'm gonna try to fix the results because this is annoying. I wish I could see results. Wonder why I can't. It's an odd thing, which I will try to fix. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Well, turn into a slaughter. Both sides losing heavily, I'm sure. Hey, I will be uh, working the next two days, so no videos. But you know, we'll be back with some streaming and some more NGW3 content, as well as some more 12 to OVD. So, stay po- I'll, uh, keep you guys updated on, uh, what happens. Thank you guys so much once again. You have a rest of your day. Stay safe, and I will catch you all in another video.